Always, usually, maybe, never. God is always absent. God is usually absent. God may be absent. God is never absent. All four of these statements are true. All four of these statements are true at the same time. All four of these statements are true at the same time without any contradiction. Always, usually, maybe, never. And the only way we will ever come to terms with this idea, which is seemingly inconsistent, is if we give up the preconception that our God is static. Because sometimes God is present, and sometimes God is absent, and at all times He is all things because God is always dynamic. He can be nowhere on earth, yet is omnipresent. He can choose to be transparent to one, but to another be resplendent. He can be itinerant in some respects, and yet in others be a resident. He is the transcendent Father who in the Son is immensely imminent. God's presence and absence may seem to be in competition, but that's because we're only viewing them with the limits of our own cognition. You see, God is not physically here right now. He is always absent in his actuality. God is not often seen with human eyes. He is usually absent in his visibility. God is not present with the lost as he is with the saved. He may be absent relationally, but God is present in his sustaining power. He is never absent generally. And what causes this perceived contradiction is in fact God's consistency. What creates a schism in our minds really comes from God's uniformity. It is his uncompromising justice and his endless inexhaustible grace that creates this present and absent state. For if he stayed present in the way he did in Eden's garden, then fallen humanity as we know it would have long since departed. So his absence is grace, as is his continuing presence. For he didn't stay and destroy us, nor did he abandon us at our sin's first occurrence. His absence is kindness, yet his presence did not retire. For without the former, we would be abolished, but without the latter, we would expire. He withdrew to preserve us, but stayed near so that his plan might transpire. Because God is absent in the way we most desire, but he's present in the way we most require. So he is always absent, but present forever. Always. Usually. Maybe.